Life Experiences. My name is Devin. Today's life experience is on Forgiving Others, Part 2. And today, I want to tell you about some examples in my life of some people who I have forgiven and people who I have not forgiven. Now, somebody who I have forgiven in my life, well, this is a guy from high school, like my senior year. He would get on my nerves and do things that are inappropriate, like say things he shouldn't say about me. He wouldn't keep his hands off of me. Like what he would do, he would bug me about maybe girls that I don't even like, or someone I must have gone out with that I don't even like anymore. Would have enough sense. Would not have enough sense to keep his mouth shut. And he also, he wouldn't keep his hands off me like he would massage me on my shoulders up here. I would tell him to stop doing it, and he wouldn't stop. He would just be aggressive. And I do remember I was very mad at him for the rest of the year after graduation. The whole summer and the fall after graduation, back in the year 2003. And the way I felt toward him before I graduated, I was really hoping that he does not go to college with me. Because I felt that if he goes to college with me, He's going to still do those things to me and get on my nerves and make my college life just as bad as my high school life. And I just couldn't take it anymore. And yes, for the rest of a year being mad at him, well, when I went to college fall for graduation, I didn't see him that time. I was very thankful to get away from him that fall. One of the best things to think about but in the next semester, in the spring semester 2004, he ended up going to college with me. And of course, I spoke to him the first day I saw him, but I wasn't too happy about him going to college with me. I was starting to kind of wonder, what am I going to do to avoid him? I can't take him anymore. And <clears throat> I know looking back at it, it's nothing good to look back on. I know you can't control the people's minds like where they can and can't go to college. And yes, for a few years, I was thinking low of him. You know, not like a grudge for a few years. More like dislike or like least. And then after about three years since we graduated, in the summer of 2006, I started going to a, a fitness center he worked there. I remember he told me that back when I was in college. And of course, I knew he'd be working there. And I felt like it's time that I fully recovered from everything he did. And yes, for a few years, I was starting to recover from some of it, though. But after three years, 100% fully recovered to where I know I don't dislike him, I don't like him least. I'm not holding one thing against him, and that's good. But once I forgave him, I was feeling my grudge towards somebody else. Like back when I was in college, back in 2004, I met this girl there who came on to me. You know, she asked me if I wanted to go out with her and her friends someday. I told her yes, and then she backed out and said that she couldn't do it. We could work things out down the road. I got our phone number, and I got our email. We would call, and we would email each other. And she would still back out me when I ask her out for dates and keep streaming along by saying we could work things out. And then one day, she did not even respond to my email when I asked her out for a date. And we stopped talking. And then the next year, in the fall of 2005, we start talking again. And she almost asked if she'd like to go out with me. And we start emailing each other again, and then I ask her out someday at school, and, she's, and she backs out on me, and then I ask her, would you like to go out on Christmas break? And she said, yeah, that'd be great. Give me a call. Well, on Christmas break, I called her and asked her if she wanted to go out maybe next week or something. And she said yes, and she, and she told me to call her next week. And then... I did, like, after Christmas was over, I called her, and she wasn't there, and she did not re return my call, and then, when I was at work, she came in to work when she knew I worked there, 
And I mentioned to her that I called her and she said, oh, I really want to go to the movies. Call my cell phone. And I asked her, are you serious? And she said, yes, she is. And then, after the new year, 2006, I called her. I left a message on her cell phone and she did not respond. And then when school started that spring semester, when I saw her, she turned her head for me. And that hurt my feelings. She was so rude. And then she would also be rude to me by hiding behind things or rolling her eyes. And yes, my grudge, you know, I was starting to feel a grudge toward her, I guess, a couple months later after she was hostile, realizing that now I do hate her. And then when I started hating her, not too long after, I started going to that fitness center, and that's when I forgave that guy from my senior year. But once I forgave him, I was feeling my grudge toward that girl. And I almost thought that I would give her my grudge toward her at some point. But after about a year, in the year 2007, it was still bothering me to where I then knew for sure that it would bother me 10 years down the road because that's when I realized it was very serious. And yes, I probably have wished that I hadn't gone after her that second time back in 2005. And when I would see her at the fitness center, that year when, I, when our grudge started, I saw her there and then I turned my head from her. And a couple years later in 2008, I saw her again and then I turned my head from her. And we stayed away from each other. We said nothing to each other. I remember one day, I was on a treadmill and then she came in. There was a small machine between mine and this other treadmill and she got on that other treadmill over there she was near me she did not look me in the eye and I'm sure she knew that was me and she knew not to look at me and yes I was still feeling my grudge toward her and, and of course the next year it was still bothering me to where I then still knew that it would bother me 10 years down the road and yes, as time went on, I knew for sure that 10 years down the road, from the time I met her to the time I hated her, that it was going to bother me. Which would also be the years 2014, 15, and 16. And this is 2016. And yes, it has been bothering me this year. And it also bothered me last year. And back in 2014. And I have told numerous people about what this girl has done. And they couldn't believe it, and they've been telling me that I really shouldn't continue holding my grudge. But sometimes, depending on how bad that person has hurt you, if you feel it's eternal, then I guess it's meant to be eternal. And going back to that guy who got on my nerves my senior year, what I will say is, if he had gone to college with me fall for graduation, he would have been very disappointed, just like me. I could see me being hostile still toward him, you know, turning my head, walking the other way, hiding from him and talking mean to him. And he's going to really wish he hadn't gone with me. You know, he's going to be really sorry that he made the choice to go to college with me and feel very guilty about what he did to me senior year. And it would not be worth it for us to be each other's enemies forever. For me to feel the same way about him as I do that girl, that would be bad. But I'm glad I forgave him. I'm glad after about three years since our grudge that I couldn't hold on to it any, lo any longer. And when I forgave him, I became friends with him at the fitness center and I would talk to him. That's a great memory. And that girl, I looked her up on Facebook and I blocked her even though she didn't know it. But she better be glad that someday one of her worst enemies would look her up on Facebook and block her. And of course, I'd feel that if she's ever blocked me, I couldn't blame her. But I'm glad I blocked her. And I'm glad that she's far away from me. And I'll never see her again. Well, that's all I have for today. Tune in next time for more life experiences. Bye.